original content, ease of use, and convenience all contribute to the worldwide popularity of Netflix's streaming subscription. The company's platform currently houses over 3,600 movies and more than 1,800 TV shows, made available to its 207 million subscribers worldwide. The success of Netflix, NFLX, relies on the company's ability to provide customers with the exact content they want, when they want it, and on virtually any device. In addition to its success in identifying consumer needs, the service provider offers multiple subscription plans and streams content at free. Some of Netflix's content streaming competitors include Disney+, Plus, Dis, HBO Max, T, Amazon Prime Video, AMZN, and Hulu, majority shareholder Dis, minority shareholder Xa. Earlier this week, Netflix admitted failure in meeting its subscriber count goal at the end of 2021. Fourth quarter 2021 estimates had Netflix projecting growth of 8.5 million new subscribers, however, the company came up slightly short, gaining 8.3 million new subscribers. While the company was just shy of meeting its goal, it is evident that Netflix's growth is slowing. The company sharply adjusted its growth goals, announcing its plan of gaining 2.5 million new subscribers this quarter, which raised red flags. In the past, Netflix was able to grow a large subscription base thanks to its quality content, relatively low price, and customer loyalty. Additionally, Netflix launched before many of its competitors, giving the company the advantage of retaining long-term customers due to its household name. Over time, Netflix has continued to see success, though at declining rates. Recent projections from Netflix report that the company is expecting fewer new subscribers each quarter, raising concerns amongst investors. The news of just missing their subscription goal came at a high cost as Netflix's share price tumbled last week. Netflix stock dropped from $508 a share to less than $400, reducing its market cap by about $50 million in just a few days. Overall, Trends in Netflix stock are on a downwards trajectory as the stock price of a single share dropped over $200 in the past year. This past month, a single share of Netflix has declined 37.05% to $384.36. Many attribute the declining stock prices to Netflix's slowing growth and inability to innovate. Most of the company's current growth comes from overseas as it expands into international markets. Domestically, Netflix remains stable despite its failure to innovate. Many consumers question Netflix's ability to launch group streaming services, capitalize on merchandise, and ability to involve social media platforms. Most of Netflix's efforts have been directed towards acquiring new subscribers. Netflix's biggest problem is that it is spending more and more to acquire new subscribers at the cost of $581 per subscriber in 2019, up from $308 per subscriber in 2012. Despite its declining subscriber counts, the current low price of Netflix stock indicates a time to buy into the company for those who are interested. As Netflix remains a trusted company and expands its reach in international markets, it is expected to bounce back, increasing stock prices.